Hello and welcome everyone. I am here with the Ivory Tower Sleeper PC build. I'm particularly proud of this build and of course the hardware, the, the case and so forth is reminiscent of a computer built maybe in the mid 90s or so and you know I've got the hardware so I wanted the operating system to match uh, and so the goal was to take Windows 10 and make it look like Windows 95 or 98. I mean they those two operating systems, as you probably recall, uh, look almost identical. They have some small differences, but um, very similar in icons and so forth. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that was the goal. So, um, I don't know, I did some Googling, and I happened to come across um, uh, this guy named New, New Age Soldier, uh, is what he's calling himself. And he's got a website, and he's got a YouTube channel, and... Um, he basically did all the legwork of pulling together all of these, uh, all the wallpapers and icons and even programs to kind of reconfigure things um, so that at least aesthetically speaking, Windows 10 uh, looks just like Windows 95, 98, and I think it has one for XP as well, XP and maybe Windows 7. But anyway, um, yeah, I thought I'd just kind of show you, you know, where you can get this and um, what it looks like, and uh, I... There, there have been actually a few, I suppose, changes. Uh, Windows 10, of course, is always coming out with updates. So there is one or two things that doesn't work that well. It doesn't work at all. So I want to point those out as well. Um, and I don't know, I did made, I guess, a small couple small changes myself, like with the background, uh, put that together. So I'll mention those as well uh, fairly briefly. So. All right, let's take a look at how you can make Windows 10 look like Windows 95. All right, the first thing you wanna do is go to the New Age Soldier website, and I've posted a link in the description below uh, to the website, and it is there that you can download the Windows 95 98 theme uh, file package as a zip package. Uh, as well as access the video and I will include a separate link to the video as well uh, down in the description but uh, that's where you find the YouTube video now the YouTube video um, does go through it step by step uh, New Age Soldier uh, does go through and uh, does an excellent job uh, walking you through the whole process uh, verbally on how to uh, basically install this theme however Again, this is a couple years old, and I uh, ran to a couple snags along the way, I think mainly due to updates on Windows 10 that have occurred over the last two years or so, and that's why I want to point those out. All right, so one of the first things it has you do is uh, load screensavers, uh, which are great. They're Windows 95 screensavers, and you can load these, you know, stick them under your System32 folder under Windows like he, like he has you do. And without loading any other things, and just have screensavers in Windows 95. That's all you want. Um, they're great. I would I would load them no matter what. But um, uh, things have changed a little bit, and he, he basically has you go under themes, personalization, and themes. And it used to be that the uh, screen there's a screensaver option that that would uh, pop up down here, um, but uh, it's it's not there anymore. So it looks like this now, and um, so I found that uh, basically to, to change anything with the screensaver to, you know, um, change those options and so forth is just type in screensaver down in your, oops, down in your uh, search bar and you get the change screensaver app. So it's here that you can change what screensaver you're using. Uh, you know, you just have to, you got to go with the, uh, where's the, where's the toaster? The flying toaster. There we go. Of course, you got the flying toaster. Let's preview that one actually. There they are. How oh, beautiful flying toast. Yeah, so you can change that, and of course, you know how long it waits until the screensaver comes on, and it works great, um, even with the most current build of Windows 10. Another thing, and this is a uh, pretty small annoyance, uh, it's purely aesthetic and it just kind of makes my eye twitch a little bit, but but that is the button that he included, at least on my system, uh, the start button, which I believe is this one here, 
um, is a little too small. I actually had to search and find a start button that's a little bigger that actually fits my taskbar a little better because you actually want it you know, to, to fully expand across the verticality of your taskbar and fill it up. So um, yeah, I will post a link to this uh, website here, which has all of these nice little forum posts, has all of these different buttons from the different versions of Windows. Uh, I would get this one. Again, just download it, put it in your theme folder, and when the time is right, when he tells you to you know, change, uh, change the icon out, change it to start um, on the Windows shell, uh, go ahead and use this uh, icon instead of the smaller version. All right, this next nugget of information here that might be useful to you. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a workaround or anything, but just to kind of let you know so you don't get frustrated uh, like I did a little bit. But uh, the part where he goes through and talks about those icons in the bottom right part of the screen, right? Your uh, network icons, the sound icons, and so forth. And basically, you have a little program called Customizer God that you should be able to customize. Uh, the icons there so that you know they aren't the modern icons anymore you can replace those with more Windows 95 98 based uh, icons um, I was not able to get any of those to work unfortunately I just got errors every time I try to replace an icon with an older icon um, I believe the cut the color change you can still I think make some changes to the color but um, yeah, you're not going to be able to replace the icons, at least not with the, the current build of Windows 10. I would, however, uh, go ahead and uh, and do like he says and basically get the the um, the notifications turned off. I mean, that helps. Um, you could also just, of course, get rid of um, the, uh, the, the date and time if you want. Uh, just kind of hide that stuff away. But as you can tell here on my screen, um, it really doesn't make... Uh, a big difference. Uh, it's really not that noticeable. Uh, just a couple extra customization things I want to mention now. Uh, when you download that file from New Age Soldier, uh, it comes with a large number of icons. And, uh, you know, I'd look through those and, and do some cus customization of your icons, as I've done here on my desktop, trying to get at least some of the original icons, but then also some newer ones as well. Um, in fact, I went and ended up going and searching for an ICO um, for uh, uh, Battle.net, and I found a nice little icon of uh, Diablo down here just by searching Google, um, you know, uh, I don't know, it was Blizzard ICO or Diablo ICO. I searched something like that. So these are generally pretty easy to find. You'll also find icons. Um, and whole packages that you can download and so forth. So highly recommend doing that and uh, just giving your, you know, your, your uh, various icons your own personal touch. The other thing I ended up doing, and again, uh, the, the uh, file package comes with a number of wallpapers, but uh, the, the kind of teal background that uh, we all associate with Windows 95 um, that's just an image file and um, you know I wanted to add the Windows 95 logo to it so I just searched for PNG Windows 95 logo got that stuck it together in paint and so um, got this nice background now with the right color and the, the neat little Windows 95 logo so I will include actually an imager link uh, to this uh, background wallpaper uh, should you want to use it uh, one last comment here. When you get to the part where you're uh, kind of messing around with the uh, Windows 95 uh, start shell uh, program where you can customize the uh, startup button and, and uh, menu and so forth, I would, I would definitely play around with that, the customizations, the settings. Um, there's quite a few different things you can do. Like, you know, I've changed uh, the Windows 10 here um, to Windows 95. Um, I, I think you can mess around with the color a little bit, uh, but yeah, I would I would take away the transparency that you sort of get get in here by default um, and make it so that it's opaque, uh, just like it should be in Windows 95. I would also hide the uh, search box, by the way, um, hide that away, and it'll end up here uh, again in your 
uh, start menu. So I uh, definitely didn't have that in Windows 95, but it's a really nice functionality uh, of Windows 10, obviously. So I want to keep that around, just kind of hide it away. All right, guys, I think that'll get you started. Again, go back, uh, look at New Age Soldiers website and download that uh, file packet if you haven't already. Uh, make sure that you uh, take a look at his video. Um, I wouldn't skip any part of it, but definitely leave this video up as well because, uh, again, there's a couple parts there where it might get a little frustrating um, if you if you don't know what, what the problem is. So, All right, thanks uh, very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate the support. This is obviously a pretty small uh, YouTube channel, so I appreciate all you listening in and all the comments. I like going through those and reading them. Uh, responding as much as I can. Uh, please do consider subscribing uh, or just coming back and watching some of the other videos. And uh, yeah, have fun uh, with the uh, Windows 95 theme on Windows 10. Uh, the best of both worlds, I think.